I think the, the name NAP, I call it the chair, is um, not only a visual express, not only comunque thinking about this element as a visual expression of, of a NAP. I think it's something more, it's, it's related to uh, the stories that we spoke, even with the company, with uh, Andrew Ward, like, uh, I'm from the north of Spain, and the north of Spain, uh, the, the woman is still doing in, natural, the, in the world of craft, the capital, the, uh, works with, they work with bolillos, which are these pieces of wood, which are with knobs, like, and they, they, they use for doing a kind of laces, capital, and uh, uh, possibly, it's, um, all those things, they are inside. It's not, it, it isn't something that you, you decide in a very conceptual way. It's something that keeps inside the, the, the project and then mm, keeps in the soul of it. When I was quite young in, in Asturias, in Oviedo, in my house, there were two wooden chairs with the comeback chair, with the comeback. Uh, and then they were always in the place where we were playing. In some way, we, we, we create a, um, a language check, I think, with, with that uh, element of memory. Then NAB was the, was the place to work and to play. And, uh, I think the industrial uh, design, any, uh, any project that you are doing related to a series that is going to be produced and industrialized um, can be related to the molds you are using, can be related to the materials that you are using, can be related to many um, elements or typologies which have to do with an a way to industrialize. But if I'm working with uh, with wood, uh, then uh, you can have you can use contemporary technologies, uh, and uh, you can research in some way. But uh, it's obviously really different than when you are working with ceramic, with plastic, uh, with other kind of uh, materials where you really you have only. The part work, in some way, you have to comunque, perform like, uh, what you want to do, and then the mold uh, will create like, uh, what you are thinking to do. Uh, in that case, comunque, you are thinking in a very industrial like, uh, way. The process is absolutely related to the to, to industrial process. But in in the case of using wood, you you begin to think how much complex I want to to create a relation with it. project that you begin uh, with a material which has a, um, a long history um, uh, as marble or as wood you have a strong element from the beginning that you have to take care
I, I try in my method of work that uh, each project has a, a personal soul. That I always think that the feminine side possibly is this kind of uh, easy attitude to move and change from different point of view and aspects like in my work. That normally this can happen more uh, to girls. The, the relation uh, between uh, function and aesthetic, uh, aesthetics and uh, between um, the concept of beauty in, in the work of design um, is uh, obviously uh, more and more connected to uh, arguments uh, as uh, transparency in the process. The, 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 the classical, more canonical like, uh, values about uh, uh, no, so only aesthetical divided, or, no, so, or um, for example, one which is the, 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 the beauty goes after function, like the idea that uh, I think um, obviously still being important, but I think it's, um, the beauty goes after transparency in the process. I think uh, possibly we are moving through that. And um, as you know, in, in art, uh, the concept of beauty is, it changes so much. It's even, even in, in, in interesting. Like it's, it's not a value, it's not the most important value in a, in a work of art. people are searching for, for ideas that do crossovers, interesting crossovers, and uh, the public is uh, moving in many directions, but always trying to, to find in the products, I think, like, oh, a certain um, credibility which is uh, connected to, to the transparency of the process. Like. Then I think that is uh, one of the most important uh, values I think we have to, to, to keep, like, oh, uh, if we want to, to get some uh, real so a real connection between the, the beauty, the aesthetics and the, and the function.
possibly as a designer, I, my idea of, uh, of design is always related in some way with the habitat, which is surrounding the, the, the pieces of design and the human being who is using those tools for living. Then, uh, at the end, I think this, this kind of um, balance between these two, three words, um, always changing, you know, because in the moment that the human being has an evolution or, or the ambience or the tools, like the other elements, they have to move you know, at, the same, at the same time, or if not, they have some problems. Like, I like this kind of relation.